Hi, Richard Gladwell here with Nick Holroyd, who's head of the design team from Team New Zealand. Nick, how many hours have gone into the boat to get to this stage from the design team's perspective? Uh, we've got uh, the order of 50 plus thousand man hours, I guess. Uh, yeah, 35, 35 man years of, uh, of design time up to here. And how many people have you had involved in that process? Uh, total is around about 32, 33 people. Um, not, all, not all of them full time. I think it works out around about 25, 26 full time equivalent. And how does that compare with what you'd normally use for a minor hull boat for the America's Cup? Yeah, I think uh, having a new classroom and uh, and the space that that uh, offers, you know, we, the balance in the team's shifted a little bit. We're you know we're down from 25 sailors in the version five boats to to a dozen uh, in, in in the team now, um, and the and the design team's grown uh, to an extent as well. What sort of baselines have you been working off? For designing a catamaran? Um, again, you know, the, perhaps one of the exciting things about this is there is no conservative option here. Nobody's, nobody's seen one, nobody knows what they ought to look like. Um, and again, you know, we've just uh, tried to be methodical about uh, searching around the design space for, for what we think are uh, good performance points. So what have you really put the emphasis on? Has it been on straight line speed or a boat that's good on corners or, or what? Um, I mean, those are, those are the trade-offs we make every day. That's why we study the opposition, try and figure out where they might be in that uh, in that spectrum as well. Um, I think uh, you know what Team New Zealand's traditionally been good at is, is working the design team and sailing team working well together. Um, you know, the 33 platform that we've been uh, running as a test platform has been a really strong uh, component of that. You know, it gives us a kind of common language where we can design something theoretically and they can. Uh, come back and tell us how it worked in reality. So at the end of the day, we're, we're trying to give the, the sailing team the boat they're after to do the job they think they need to do. Do you have any idea how the stuff is going to scale from the 33 up to the 72? Um, we, we, we'd like to think we do. Um, the 33, the 45, they're all good opportunities for us to, to test our tools out, uh, understand you know, what we're getting right in our modelling programme. Um, what, what we don't really understand well and try and uh, refine those approaches. So every time we can marry theory to, to reality, that's, that's a, it's a really positive move for us. So what do you do in terms of a test program once the real boats start racing? Do you just set up a course that replicates San Francisco or do you do what used to be done and you go out there and do a lot of long straight line sailing almost out to the barrier? Um, no, I think you know, uh, the emphasis will be strongly on racing. Um, we have this boat in the water uh, for a good three months um, and so a lot of the sort of straight line just sorting things out, getting mechanically reliable, getting, uh, getting the systems reliable etc should happen during that period. The power of these boats for the, for the uh, you know, physical bodies on board is enormous uh, and how to physically muscle them around the course is, and understanding that is, is a huge part of the game. What's been the most difficult thing you've had to do design-wise for these boats? Um, I think you know, developing new, new tools for us, uh, you know, valid, you know, verifying that they're working well. Um, you know, a lot of the processes we use, you know, you've, you've got to uh, you know, very, very tight weight accounting, for example. You know, we have a very hard, there's a hard limit in the rule. Once you go over that uh, weight, it's no longer at AC72, so we have to stay within that. Um, and you know, we, we worked we worked with the weight budget to within about one percent. So you know, we've got a very very tight uh, control of you know, engineering weights, etc. And that's uh, you know just actually keeping on top of things like that. Um, how you trade, you know, uh, structural reliability against uh, giving giving the crew uh, maybe more mechanical features that might uh, improve the, their ability to handle the boat around the course. Those kind of trades are difficult to make. Team New Zealand tradition has always been to have a strong sailor input. What's happened with that in terms of the design? Oh, I mean, I think that's uh, you know that's something we've tried to build on with this uh, with this program. You know, the guys, as I think I said, the 33 program has been has been really pivotal in that relationship. You know, us being able to go to them in the morning and say, look, here's a new whatever. Uh, these are the performance characteristics you can expect from it. We're, we're very rigorous about you know, always giving them performance data ahead of them testing it. 
uh, and then being able to come back to us and you know, say, well, we did see this, we didn't see that, uh, is, you know, again, that interaction, given the guys the product that they're after to do the job they have to do on race day is, is fundamental.